Hey guys, welcome to CMS News, and today we were talking about school fights that have gone on at my middle school, aka Shock to Elementary, aka CMS. Um, the first fight took place were in math class, my math class, where two individuals were shoving each other, one with the initial K and one with the initial of T. Um, that's how all fights are good, but I ended up actually getting suspended for a week after that. So, fun for them. Um, this story... The one with the initial of T actually gets in, I think, two more fights. But we'll be covering more stories like this fight one later. And the second fight occurred in a lunchroom when some students were having some words waiting and got a little carried away and got out of hand really quickly. The principal has escorted them to her office and they were also, I think, given a couple days of ISI, which is in school, uh, I don't know what it's called. In school something. And yeah. Um... This is this is the most recent fight we're about to cover. The most recent fight has happened in a locker ray out of school. I think it happened last month as of this video was going up, or two months ago. When school has just started, like ten minutes after it started. Two students with the initials of C and one with the initials of D were squared up to each other. All the other students were pressed up against their lockers, trying not to get engaged. These students were led to the office and they were suspended. I think the suspension was three that's two. Three days long, and they're both back at school now. And I actually knew one of them decently well, and I still talk to that person. Um, as we said in our website, we don't really talk about the upper grades, but today we have a story about the 8th grade. Two of the 8th graders were charged with disorderly conduct after they had brawled it out in the commons area. Well, I think they have to go to court now for that and pay a fine, which is great. Just kidding. Um... Well, that looks like we're going to wrap it up today, and thanks for watching CMS News. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell.